Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Sometimes your Fire Stick or other Fire TV device will fail to load and get stuck on the loading screen or stuck in a continuous boot loop. If this is the case for you, or you want to know what to do if this ever happens to your Fire Stick in the future, in this video we will take a look at some fixes that might help. So when you're ready, let's go and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. This can be a really frustrating issue if you've ever experienced your Fire Stick stuck on a continuous boot loop or stuck at the loading screen. But before you dump your Fire Stick in the bin, there are a few tips you can try to fix this issue. Now I'm not going to say that these tips will definitely help, but if nothing else is working, then they are worth a try. This may seem obvious, but if you haven't yet tried this solution, simply allowing time for your Fire Stick to cool and completely power down may do the trick. Remove your Fire Stick from the TV and the power supply. If you're using any attachments, such as an OTG cable, adapter or USB hub, remove these as well. Wait at least five minutes. Then you can plug your Fire Stick back into your TV and the power supply. If you were using any attachments, don't reconnect these yet, as this will help to determine if the boot loop is being caused by your peripherals. If your Fire Stick powers up successfully without them, try changing the OTG you're using and make sure you're using compatible attachments. You can find links in the description and pinned comment down below for my OTG recommendations. If you're using a USB port on your TV to power your Fire Stick, or you're using a power adapter other than the one that came in the box with your Fire Stick, then this could be causing your issue. Your Fire Stick might not be getting the full amount of power that it needs to fully boot up. So make sure you're using the power adapter that came in the box with your Fire Stick, and you may even want to try plugging in the power adapter to a different power outlet. Try replacing the power cable as well if using the power adapter still doesn't help. Any other micro USB cable should work as many of us usually have a spare one lying around. These types of cables are notorious for needing to be replaced frequently for all sorts of reasons. Replace the USB cable and if you can, use the official one from Amazon that came in the box. If you've lost the original power cable or power adapter, you can find links in the description and pinned comment down below to get replacements. You may have an issue with the HDMI port on your TV. Unplug all HDMI connected devices from your TV, if you have any, then try plugging your Fire Stick into each port in turn. Testing each HDMI to see if this stops the boot loop. And if that doesn't work, try plugging your Fire Stick into a different TV. This was the solution that worked for me when I last had an issue with my 4K Fire Stick stuck in a boot loop. I simply left it overnight and by the morning the Fire Stick was back at the home screen. Give your Fire Stick time to do its thing. It may just be stuck processing a task and will eventually get past it. Leave it for at least a few hours, or even better, for an entire day or night if you can. You may be able to force a factory reset using your remote. Press and hold the directional button to the right, and at the same time, press and hold the back button. Hold both of these buttons for around 10 seconds. You should see a message pop up on screen to let you know that the factory reset has been initiated and will occur automatically. 
If this doesn't work, the first time you press the remote control buttons, try pressing them at a different point in the boot loop cycle than when you previously tried. Now this step may only help if you already have a wired USB keyboard and an OTG cable or adapter. If you do, you can try forcing your Fire Stick into safe mode. If you don't have these things and you do want to give this step a try, you can find links in the description and pinned comment down below. Attach the wired USB keyboard to your Fire Stick by plugging in an OTG cable or adapter into your Fire Stick. This adds a USB port so you can plug in the wired keyboard. Then plug the power supply into the OTG cable or adapter. Power your Fire Stick back up and let it go back into the boot loop sequence. Putting the Fire Stick into safe mode requires a combination of pressing and holding five different keys on the keyboard at the same time. When the boot loop sequence is displaying the Fire TV logo, press and hold the Control and Alt buttons and with your other hand, press and hold the Menu, Print Screen and I buttons. Keep holding the buttons down and then you'll see Safe Mode displaying in the bottom left corner. Once you see this, you can let go of the keys. Your Fire Stick should stop boot looping and be back at the home screen in Safe Mode. Here you can try just a simple restart to see if this stops the boot loop or perform a factory reset or remove any applications that you think may be causing your issue. If none of these tips help, try contacting Amazon. Faulty devices are covered under manufacturer warranty and consumer rights so it is worth talking to Amazon about your options. In some instances, some customers have been able to get a free replacement or at least a discount off of a new one. If you want to purchase a new Fire Stick, you can find links in the description and pinned comment down below. And going through these links helps to support my channel. I hope that these tips have helped to fix your boot loop issues. If they did, then let me know which one helped in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.